going on everybody? It's Jimmy Perry from Powerlifting.Website, website, your go-to resource for all beginning powerlifting information. And today I'm about to go on a two-hour road trip to Richmond, Virginia. I'm still looking for people for my powerlifting uh for the um the site that I want to put up. So if you wanna if you, God God that is wild loud. If you guys wanna um upload your fitness programs to the site that's up to you, you know, free of charge. I'm not going to charge anyone. It's just going to be a new outlet for your stuff. And it's not, I don't really think it'll be, in, you know, like, it's just going to be a supplement to what you already, the traffic you already have. It's not going to take away from anything. It's just going to be a supplement. So, I mean, if you're interested, if you want another, if you want more traffic and more people to sell your stuff to, check it out. Um, now, today I'm going to do an FAQ for the bench press. What is the, we're going to answer four or five questions again. Um, first question is, what is the bench press good for in everyday life? Uh, first, we're going to talk about what muscles the bench press works, which are the main muscles are the triceps, pecs, shoulders or front shoulders, and the upper back is what we use for a base to press off of. Um, so what do we use those muscles for? We use them to open, to push, to push doors open. I put that twice. Uh, to push, to push stuff, basically. So, yes, what does it good for in everyday life? It helps you push stuff. And the heavier you get, the better you get at pushing things. And the more weight you can push. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or hold on to. Like, I mean, not really hold on to, but push. You can push stuff. So, it's not really. That's pretty much it. Now, what is a thousand pound bench press good for? I mean, you can push a car. So, that would be dope. Um... And you be good at boxing and all the other stuff because your triceps and shoulders and everything's gonna be crazy strong. So, so how much weight should I bench press? A uh, good rule of thumb for bench pressing is you want to press your weight. So, yeah, how much weight? You. How much do you weigh? If you're 200 pounds, you better press 200 pounds. That's why bench press goes up with weight, with mass. I think every lift goes up with mass, but bench press, yeah. Are dips a substitute for the bench press? Are they better than the bench press? I wouldn't say either one is better than the other. It's very hard to answer questions like that because it's, I mean, it depends on what you're at. Better for what? <laughs> now, uh, are dips a substitute for the bench press? I mean, yeah, they work the same muscles, shoulders, triceps, pectorals. I don't know if they don't really need the upper back for a base, but kind of. So, I mean, yeah. I mean, you can't really go too heavy with them, but you are working with body weight, so... I would say so. I don't like dips. I used to do them. I like to use weights. That's me, though. Uh, deadlift, squat, bench press, and shoulder press enough for strengthening muscles and getting a good physique. I mean, obviously, there's going to be muscle imbalances with any one of those, so I don't think it's enough. But to get, I think, what's the word? To get, like, uh, general strength or to get general, like, to, to, to strengthen your, um, core muscles, I can't remember the exact word, but to straighten the core muscles, the basic muscles, yes, yeah, enough. Uh, now, there's going to be other things, like to get good in those movements, there's going to be other movements that you need to do in order to, to fix imbalances, like for me with the squat, my knees kept on going out, like I didn't add, my knees weren't stable, so that was one thing I needed to work on, and with the deadlift, like I needed to work on my lower back and all other stuff, and hamstrings, and it's a bunch of stuff, so yeah, I mean, for the most part, yeah, but there's going to be other things you're going to need to touch on as you get moved throughout those movements or get better with those or as you progress um, with those movements. So, and that's pretty much it. You'll hear from me next time. Also, don't forget to follow me on or follow us on social media Facebook, Medium, Quora, uh, Snapchat. Um, also, we're releasing a podcast. Which is already out actually, so going to go to the site. Links to the podcast episodes are going to be under this video, but go to the uh, site and check that out. Also, check out the Black Book of e or ebook powerlifting or Black Book of Powerlifting. It's an ebook. We're going to put it in audio form too. But so yeah, and you hear from me next time. Peace.